Hi everyone. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. I wanted to share with you something that was very special. Uh, I was gifted a collection of perfumes, sample perfumes, from the lovely Noria Smith, who is actually Frost Moth Apothecary. It's a little tricky to say sometimes, but I can do it. Um, so I got these about a week and a half, two weeks ago. What I wanted to do was do a test of each perfume and how it scented throughout the day. And then I could do this sort of like review of the lovely perfumes of Frost Moth Apothecary. Because there is a Frost Moth something else. So Frost Moth Apothecary. Oh, tongue tied. So I got this. And I wanted to show you, even though I've opened it, I wanted to give you an idea. So it came in a beautiful little box like this with the Frost Moth address on there and their stamp and then my address in here. And then when I opened it, it came, oops, oops, it was all wrapped up with the beautiful Frost Moth sticker. Uh, she's really made an effort with her packaging. Like it's a very cohesive um, concept. Came with a little wee sign, a little wee um, card, which has the well, you can't see with this glary light. There we go. There we go. There we are. Um, it's got a moth on it and a wax seal. And inside was a little wee note. Again, with the frost with the frost moth apothecary symbol on it. It says, "Cat, thank you for giving frost moth a try. I hope you love your scents, and I can't wait to hear your feedback." So thank you, Noria. Um, and yeah, this is what it is. It's not sponsored. It was gifted to me, but it wasn't sponsored. Uh, at no point has she asked for me to be positive or negative about it. So I love perfumes. Um, and yeah, so this is, it's really fun for me to do this. So then inside came with a little note. There's a box. These are the samples. Um, and then it also came with the, 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 lots and lots of paper noodles in black because that's our aesthetic. And then it came with the full perfume, which I got Sekhmet, which I'll talk about, um, in this lovely little black mesh box, bag, box, soft box, bag. And her gorgeous little card, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it has a picture of her perfumes on the back. I love these little narrow ones. They're really quite clever. And it came with, I think, a uh, amethyst. I may be wrong, but I think it's an amethyst. And um, it's one of those sort of like really lovely, almost to me looks like blue John, uh, which is a, a local stone from the Nottingham area. Um, but that came with it as well, which was like, wow, that's really nice. So then inside this, which I expected only a few, I got like one, two, three, I think I got eight samples. And oh, the box smells amazing as you open it. Um, yeah, so I have a little discussion on each one. I wore each perfume for a whole day. Um, I sometimes put them on uh, at least twice, sometimes a few more times. And I sort of made some notes throughout the day of what it smelled like when I first put it on and then what it smelled like later in the day. And that's what I thought I'd talk to you about now. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, so first one I tried, I had to try Vampire. So it's Vampire with a Y. Uh, no, I want you to focus. Um, cool. Anyway, Vampire. V A M P Y R E. So this one is said that it's male or female and it's very woody scented. Um, I'm reading my notes, by the way. I've got the head notes when you first smell. My first thought was, it smelt like a crypt. Um, damp, musty, moist earth, a little bit of fungus maybe, you know, growing in the earth. There's a smell of grass and there's smells, um, the, also a little bit of dustiness, like the cobwebs inside a crypt. Definitely a European crypt, not an Australian one. Um, there was more moisture in the smell. So it had this gorgeous, strange scent when you first smelt it. 
but it wasn't offensive it was actually really interesting you're going oh i just kept wanting to smell it so like oh like that um it also has a, quite a delicate blend of the scents and i think that works really well in these oil-based perfumes because they are all oil-based um that was at about 10 30 in the morning when i put this one on and then i've got here at 12 30 the earthy heady notes are lingering um, the woods are now the strongest and there's a hint of cinnamon spice in the background and then it had sort of dispersed by about lunchtime about two o'clock and I reapplied it obviously with these sorts of oil-based perfumes that's what happens you are you know you have to be prepared to put them on two or three times a day but it's definitely worth it so this was one of my favorites I have to say and it was my first one and I was like so excited to go oh so that's Vampire. I definitely recommend that one. The next one I tried is Nyad. Um, and they, I think, are water nymphs, if I am correct. I should have looked that up before. I don't know why I didn't. Um, this one, as, as you could imagine, it actually had, to me, it smelt like a damp green smell of around a lake when you come to a lake and there's the, the soft earth and the, the very lush grass that's where the water is sort of seeped in with the earth and you know that that's what it smelled like to me um and then yeah it's got that sort of grassy green smell and then it softens to almost like a salty ocean smell but still sweet um so it was a very fresh scent and I actually tried it I think on one of the hotter days that we had uh, last week and it worked perfectly it was really light it was fresh um, and it was the sort of sort of perfume you'd perfect on a summer's day if you're locked inside but you want to feel like you're at the ocean or at a lake so um, it was really a pleasant smell I definitely think that would be one that a lot of people would like the next one I have here is Morrigan now I'm holding each one you can't smell it I wish you could because it'd be amazing and you can't see the name because they're a bit small so you just have to trust me this one's Morrigan um, so Morrigan obviously she's one of the um, goddesses of the raven and the death so I have an affinity with her I love all things to do with ravens and crows and corvids and um, that sort of imagery so I was really really excited to smell Morrigan Morrigan's patchouli and it's juicy that's what I sort of went patchouli and juicy so it's like a perfect sort of <gasps> gothy alternative scent um it had a smoky head note when you first put it on like you've been over the fire you know gr brewing things um but it wasn't overpowering it didn't smell like just heavy tobacco or anything it was this lovely this sort of wonderful experience of smoke a day or two in your hair still you know after you've been at a fireplace um, it had a really lovely balance of earth and fruit and smoke smell scents smells scents and it was really interesting that when I put it on it actually made me happy I just went oh I love this mm, Morrigan definitely that's a winner one of my other favorite ones is cemetery so cemetery is very quite similar to vampire in that I found I almost found it was like a mix of vampire and naiad blended together and then dried out <laughs> um, five hours on this still lasted so this was one of the more powerful scents although when you first put it on it doesn't feel that powerful like it's not like overpowering and I think that's also because of its oil based but it lingered really nicely so I did reapply it but because I just really liked it um, it's got a sandalwood scent within the perfume so that makes it I don't know this sort of there's a freshness to it even though it's woody um, and I could still smell it way into the evening um, and you could smell the woods and the lily that was in there because there's like there's lily in here but again it's not overpowering it's just this the, the lily to me sort of softens the woods and heavy smokes so that's another beautiful one I think I have to say I think I prefer personally because this is all my own personal opinion that I like cemetery over vampire um, just because I think it lingered a bit more and I had a more mature balanced 
blend of the two of of the perfumes like Naiad and Vampire. So yes, yeah, Cemetery. That's a good one. Fairy Ring was the next one I tried. So this was like every day I had a different perfume. So Fairy Ring, its first notes again are damp earth, but not as damp as um, uh, Naiad. It is more like, again, it's an English experience or a European experience. Um, I once had this opportunity to go to a the Standing Stones near Nottingham. I think they're called the 13 Ladies. And it would been raining the day before. It was damp. There was mist in the air. You came up to this group of small standing stones that are only a little bit taller than myself, and I'm five nine. And there was smells of like mushrooms, and there was scents of the grass and the damp and the stone and the air. And that's what this reminded me of. That's what Fairy Ring reminded me of. It just brought that image back into my head, and I haven't thought about that in a while. Um, so, and there's floral as well. So it's sent the first, first instant scent is damp earth and almost mushroomy. And then that almost dissipates almost immediately to be left with floral. So it does to me have the image of you walk through a mushroom fairy ring into the middle and there's flowers around you and then you smell the flowers. Um, there's lilac but there's also it feels like there's edible scents in it as well it's quite a complex perfume and i really liked it i can imagine being that sort of day where you just want to eat cake <laughs> i like this one so my next one muse um obviously you know the muses the female muses um i think a lot of these though could be worn by male or female or anyone in between I'm not judging that sounded terrible I'm not, I'm not judging I'm not it, florals I'm just telling you the sense just ignore what I just said about gender it doesn't matter wear whatever you freaking want to because that's what I do and so should you I'm gonna stop now because I am probably just saying everything the wrong way <laughs> so I seem to do anyway back to muse muse is lovely it's got dragon's blood scent in it it's got vanilla um it's got musk and it has this wonderful lingering scent um i wrote it felt an encompassing fragrance mm -hmm. i'm glad i remembered that um the vanilla left this lovely sweetness to all the sort of musky resinoid um, dragon's blood very earthy scent a very sensual scent I think without being sexual it just felt oh really it, it felt to me like a strong feminine power um, and I really liked that one so oh. I'm just gonna go straight on to Sappho Sappho so Sappho um, this one is figs and violets. Now I was really excited to smell this one because it is, I love violets and rose perfumes as well as like dragon's blood and spicy earthy sort of smells. I also love the violet and rose. So when I saw that this was fig and violets, I kept it for like second last. Um, it's juicy. That's what I, I wrote down here. It's juicy. Uh, there's also Lang Lang and pepper in it and that warmed and supported the floral um, and I actually written here it's perfect for a challenging day so I've had a few challenging days lately uh, starting uni and um, with my anxiety and my depression it's quite challenging and I put this on and felt supported just by the scent this perfume so yeah um, I've already I put it on like two or three times, not because I needed it, because I just wanted to have that pff, smell of the juicy fruit smells and then the lingering warm lang lang and pepper after. So yeah, it was, um, it was really nice. And then the next one I've got here is Sophia of the samples. This is the last of the samples. And Sophia is jasmine. And then it's mostly jasmine and very floral. Uh, so if you like a floral fragrance, this is fabulous because it has um, a grapefruit in it as well. Uh, and you can smell that. But as a 
tang that cuts through the florals so it's not just like I've written here it's not it takes it from a I wrote this is exactly what I wrote it takes it from a floral old lady scent to a gentle 21st century feminine look at me writing shit down um, but yes so it's jasmine it's very floral it's what I would think of as a feminine scent um, but the tang cuts through it and just makes it really modern and it actually is really glorious again it's probably one of my favorites and then the last one the last one is actually the kind list which I got a full bottle of Sekhmet so Sekhmet is um, the Egyptian one, yeah, Sekhmet, God of, comment below what he's God of, because I've forgotten. Um, this one's very sort of classic ambers and incense smell. I'm going to put it on there because I haven't worn one today. Oh, oh, oh. If you've seen my um, shoe video and you hear that noise, it's that joy of, it's that scent of bliss. You know, it's like, oh my God, that's so good. I'll, I'll, I'll link the t uh, my Fluvog video below so you could go see that because I do that a lot there too. Oh, so yeah, it's it's this glorious, I'm just going to put it on there, I'm going to put it on there, all the pulse points, you know. Ooh, la, 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 la. I put it on my elbow if I can get it in. Mm. So it's got this wonderful, ambery, earthy, um, Egyptian, there's a, there's a perfumia in Australia called Damask Perfumia Perfumerie. They are fabulous. They do one of the most glorious perfumes um, called Egyptian Amber. And this really reminded me of that, but in a less complex way, because uh, Egyptian Amber from Damask Perfumerie is complex and glorious, and it is probably the pinnacle of perfumes, in my personal opinion. Um, but Sekhmet, oh, it is so nice. And again, it was warming, it was supporting. Uh, if you like the sort of amber and sandalwood and earthy patchouli sort of classic old school golf smells, I guess, um, you would you will love this one. So, yeah, that's that's my review. Um, I think I'm actually I think there are fabulous perfumes. She has done such a lovely range of perfumes um i i don't know i think cemetery sophia muse and um morrigan would probably be my personal favorites and that's because i love those smoky woody earthy scents uh along with obviously segment that i just Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm going to put that on. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll keep it for the recording. But I'm going to start using this every goddamn day now, I think. Um, I think she's got a lovely range of perfumes. I really think you should check her out. Personally, for me, Nyad was not the biggest hit. But that's because I've never been one for those salty, lovely, fresh ocean ones. I don't want to smell like a fresh ocean. I want to smell like a crypt. So, you know, cemetery is perfect for me. Um, but yes, please go check her out. I will have her link to her website below. I think she's got an Etsy and she's got a website. And I think um, she's also got a Facebook page, I think. But I will link her details below so you can go check her out. Always try and buy local or at least buy small business. Because she's not local to me here in the UK. But small business, go for it. I think anything we can do to support small business that actually helps them put food on the table, pays their bills, maybe even like get the car fixed or do something like that, then I would say always try and do that. Um, that's why I've got, you know, a, a UK t-shirt saying, hate everything, but I don't, I love most things. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I probably rambled. I always try and keep it under 10 minutes and I always end up being about 20. So I hope you don't mind me doing little chatty chats. Uh, but yeah, definitely try Frost Moth Apothecary. Uh, they do deliver around the world. So that's pretty good as far as I'm aware. So I think so because, you know, she delivered to me. Well, I'll take that. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I hope whatever you have planned for the future, in the next day, week, month or year of life, brings you happiness and joy. Um, and scents are always part of it. So see everyone. Bye.